Alright, so with that, welcome to my new Let's Play of Grand Theft Auto 3. I have tried to do one of these before, six years ago, and uh, I did not get very far. I had primitive technology, and uh, it did not cooperate. Uh, it would appear that we are an escaped convict, and I'm obviously not in much of a hurry. So what's going to happen here is, this is one of the classic Drive Me Here missions. I've turned off the radio because the last time I tried to do one of these Let's Plays it got a copyright claim on it. Here we're playing the PS2 version on the PS4. The last time I played it, it was the Xbox version on the Xbox 360. One trick I'm going to keep using is there's an alley here that has a police bribe. It'll lower your wanted level by one star. Whoops. Oh, I can go this way. That's alright. I shouldn't have, but we can go this way. I'll do this, whatever. So after this first video, I'm going to run around and get all the hidden packages. I'm not going to force you to watch that. I'm definitely going to save between every mission. I'm not going to make you watch that either. We are coming to our first save house. And here we are. If you never played GTA before, you can save your car in that garage and it'll fix it when you go to use it next. Now I gotta drive over to Luigi's place. He's gonna be our first job contact. So now we have to go drive around Misty. We're going to grab her from, well, I don't remember. Is it from or I think I take her to the clinic. Clinic, a.k.a. a full-blown hospital. And, you know, she's going to a clinic because she's a, uh, she's an employee of an escort type business. If you catch my drift. Yeah, it was I pick her up from the hospital. Get in the damn car. Let's go. Hi, I'm Misty. Whoops. And we just take her right back to Luigi's. Super easy first type mission in a GTA game. Just drive people around and get to know how to drive a car. Very basic. God, this looks so much better than the Xbox version. And another cutscene. Oh, sorry. Mission passed. Not a full blown cutscene. And then I'm just going to go straight back to the safe house and save the game for the first time. Now I'm going to show you when I go to get all the uh, hidden packages, which are, you know, Illicit materials in a package. When I get the 
the hidden packages after I collect so many right up on this little ramp here I'm gonna get weapons that I can pick up every time I go to leave my safe house and that's gonna help me survive any vehicle saved in the garage will be stored and saved walk through the doorway to save we're gonna pick up this a baseball bat the only thing I really don't like about this game, as opposed to future GTA games, is you can't pause and look at a map. The only map you get is that mini-map down in the left-hand corner, and it's super hard if you're not very used to this game to get around. It's quite a, quite a chore, and uh, I've only played this game very sparingly. I. I've gotten to the second island before, but not much further. And in my last Let's Play series of this that I tried to do, I think I only finished like 10 or so missions. But we're doing the whole thing this time, the whole shebang, baby. So I'm gonna go do my first save, and then we're gonna get on to part two of the Let's Play. If you're watching the Let's Play as it's being, I, I'm overwriting this save, by the way. If you're watching the Let's Play as I'm uploading it, this is, I want to say, four days after we released our first podcast. And I said this channel would not be stagnant, and it's not going to be stagnant. So I'm going to leave you be for episode one, and we're going to see you next time. Thank you.